Hey guys, you've probably heard a lot about procrastination in the last couple of years. It's been a hugely researched topic and it's one that's really easy to, you know, get ideas of how to do, but it's really difficult to put into practice. So today, Ariel and I want to share a couple of practicals that hopefully will help you guys out and maybe help you to view um, your tasks a little bit differently and with a more positive mindset. Uh, it's not easy to do, it's going to take quite a bit of self-discipline, but I think it's a worthwhile goal to have. And so we've got a lot of good stuff to cover today, so let's jump right into it. So organization is definitely key when we are talking about getting things done in a timely manner. If you're not an organized person, that's okay. We are going to break down a couple steps for you to get more organized and hopefully that will help you kind of move along. The first thing you want to do is to clear your workspace and that includes any distractions like your phone, your friends, Netflix a gaming system, anything that is making you not work on your tasks is definitely something that needs to be put away for now or maybe your friends just shouldn't come over at that moment. This clear space is definitely going to help you focus more on your work and to not be distracted by so many different things. So my biggest distraction is definitely my phone and I'm sure a lot of you probably have that as your biggest distraction also. Um, and I really don't trust myself to just know to not have my phone nearby. Um, so I had to get a couple apps really to help me with that because I didn't think I was capable of it on my own. The first app is called Forest. It's really simple. Really all you're trying to do is grow trees into your forest. And the way that you grow a tree is by not using your phone for a specific amount of time. It sounds stupid and like, how is that going to stop me from using my phone? But when you see that tree growing, you really just don't want it to die. So it actually works pretty well. I was skeptical at first, but give it a try. The second app that I use is called Stay Focused. Um, a lot of phones have this natively built into the operating systems, but it just limits um, the amount of time that I spend on an app. Specifically, Facebook is the big one that I use. Uh, the other social media apps aren't too big of a problem. But what you can do is just set a timer. So you can already see on your phones how long you are using these apps. Um, but what I really like about Stay Focused is that you can choose if you want it to be a time limit, which is what I have. You can even decide to only let you open the app a certain amount of times per day, which is an interesting way to tactfully go about it. But either way, you're limiting what you're doing. Therefore, you're going to be focused on the things that really matter that much more. So in order to visualize the seemingly daunting task at hand, it's helpful to write your task down. Um, for me, I will not be able to follow through on a goal and I'll procrastinate on it if it's too vague, uh, too huge of a goal, or just too far away. So you wanna break these goals down into actionable goals that you can accomplish even daily a personal example of this for me is when I'm creating music. Now, music is a hobby of mine to make, um, but sometimes thinking about creating an entire song is a huge task. There's a lot of little parts that go into it. So what's been really helpful for me in my workflow is just to break down little steps to do each day, and then I can have a sense of accomplishment at the end of the day if I can complete these tasks instead of just feeling like a failure until I have an entire song done. For example, my goal today may be to finish a bass line that I'm working on or find some good drum samples for the track that I'm, I'm working on. Those little things will give me a good indicator of if I have accomplished what I'm trying to do today or if I've been procrastinating. If I know that I have certain things to get done, I find that I feel that I need to get those done today rather than just saying, oh, well, I'll, I'll work on that at a later time. I'll just scroll on Facebook for now. So if I find myself procrastinating, I can catch myself and remember what it is that I set out to work on. Okay, so now we can make a schedule. 
Now I know some of you are like cringing at the word schedule, but just hear me out. When you make your schedule, it's so much easier to find out what needs to be done first and what's most time consuming. So if you have just a little bit of time every day to work on something, it's easier to be able to look at your schedule, figure out what needs to be done first, or even what is the shortest. So you can be able to cross things off of your list. Now, if you look at the tasks that are definitely more difficult or more time consuming, and you work on that piece by piece, those are definitely the hardest to get done, but getting those out of the way will help you breathe a little bit more and to relax about everything else that you have to do. Another benefit to making a schedule is knowing when things have to be done. Deadlines are definitely a key to know when different tasks need to be done first. Once those are taken care of, then you can work on the things that aren't due right now and focus on what's most important. So with your schedule, you're gonna wanna break up any large projects that you have into smaller steps. This is going to make it a whole lot easier and easier to not procrastinate. For example, if I want to clean the house, I can break it up into cleaning up the toys. Great, that takes five minutes, I can do that. Next, let's put the laundry in the washer. Cool, got it done. And let's sweep the floor. So breaking it up makes it seem so much easier to tackle and so much easier to do, even if you only have like 10 minutes to spare. So now let's talk about taking breaks. Uh, I think breaks are probably the most underestimated technique in order to stifle procrastination. Um, I believe that our bodies just naturally need breaks and our brains need breaks. And if we aren't scheduling these breaks in, then our bodies will kind of just naturally want to take a break. And I think that's where procrastination happens. We just suddenly want to just look at our phone instead of continuing to work. So that's why it's so important to schedule your breaks. It is recommended to take around a 10 minute break for every hour that you're working. Um, and I don't expect anyone to just kind of remember that. So what I have to do is to set an alarm on my phone. There's probably apps for that, Chrome extensions for that, but it's just simple just to set an alarm on your phone and then take that break. Research shows that taking shorter breaks more frequently is better overall for you than taking a really long break after a couple hours. So if what you are working on involves looking at a screen, which for a lot of us that is the case, during this break, don't just whip out your phone and start scrolling on Instagram. Give your mind, your body, and even your eyes a break and you know, go for a walk, look at something in the distance. I like to go outside because I can just look around, get some fresh air, and I'm not staring at something a foot away from my face. My personal break involves getting some water, just going out into our back porch, just taking a few deep breaths and enjoying the fresh air. So now we get to go to the fun part, which is motivators. Motivators are my favorite part of doing any task because it helps me get them done quicker. So when you finish, you know, five tasks on your list, you can get a motivator. For me, that's maybe a bite of chocolate ice cream or a little chocolate drop. like. You have to know what works for you and what's gonna get you motivated to do those things. So if you have larger tasks, then I would reward yourself when you finish that whole task with something bigger. So if you have a presentation to do or a paper to write and it does take a lot of time, you can treat yourself afterwards with going on a shopping spree or just buying something that you've wanted for a while but just haven't gotten to it. So these can be a great tool and in completing anything that you do. Another one for me is if I get the whole house clean, I reward myself with an episode of Grey's Anatomy. So motivators are definitely a way to help you push yourself to actually completing what needs to be done. So now the difficult part of all of this, putting it into practice. 
What are some things you can start right now that will help you out in this? Don't try to change too many of your bad habits at one time because it's really easy to get burnt out that way and just say forget about all of this. So what I did at the beginning was I focused on one thing which was setting specific short-term goals like I talked about earlier. For you, that one thing might be putting your phone away. You know, if you happen to get distracted with other things, you at least feel accomplished because you put your phone away. That's the one thing you're going to work on right now. And you'll see some benefits from that. And then you can move on and do some other things that are going to help you stop procrastinating. Remember that this is not supposed to be easy. Um, not procrastinating is not a comfortable feeling. It goes against what a lot of us have trained ourselves to do. Uh, but unfortunately, these distractions that we see day to day are not going anywhere. They're probably getting worse. So the sooner that we can create some really good habits about this, the better off we're gonna be. We really hope that our procrastination tips and advice can help you in some way or another. I know that we use these tips and tricks in our own lives and they do really help. If you did like our video and want to see more of what we're going to get into, please like and subscribe. We are definitely coming out with a bunch of more videos. We have a bunch of ideas and we hope to see you soon. See ya. Which is my favorite show. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> what was that such a struggle? <laughs>